Alzheimer's is a terrible, debilitating disease that doesn't just uh, take your family members and loved ones away from you. It takes you away from them because they forget who you are and it just destroys your heart. Um, it's terrible and it's important to try to prevent those things and we have the tools within the functional medicine community to do so. Uh, to give you the best opportunity to prevent it and there's even research to support to try to reverse that. In the functional medicine community, what we have is root cause. We want to figure out what pieces of your chemistry or what pieces of your physiology or lifestyle cause a disease. And so in the case of Alzheimer's, there's things like your A1C, your blood sugars. Uh, there's homocysteine, which is an independent risk factor for a stroke, which at higher levels can actually shrink the hippocampus of your brain and mess up your sleep-wake cycle and short-term memory. So if you have sleep-wake cycle, short-term memory problems, and high blood sugars, and you have Alzheimer's in your family, that's something that needs attention now. Don't wait, where it's much diff more difficult to bring your function back. Um, you have DHEA and pregnenolone, some adrenal stress hormones. When those are lower, you'll shrink the hippocampus of your brain. If you have uh, exposure to ochratoxin A, which is a type of mold, that can cause shrinking of the hippocampus of your brain. If you have an HPHPA clostridia infection in your intestine, if you have some kind of bowel disorder, that can uh, predispose you. So what our goal really is in the functional medicine community, and there's a whole lot more, whether it's thyroid, there's inflammatory markers, APOE4, there's all sorts of different uh, factors that play into Alzheimer's. And so when you come to a functional medicine doctor like myself or someone else, it is integral to get all the testing to see every factor that plays a role into Alzheimer's. So we can systematically look at each one that would predispose you and eliminate them and give you the opportunity to live the rest of your life not in assisted living, not in isolation, but where you get to spend time with your family and your loved ones and really be active the rest of your life.